Cue number one, here we go. <laughs> oh! Hi there, I'm Aria, with a quick investigation into the vast challenge that is sweeping the internet right now. Well, there is a new viral trend that will put your sneakers to the test. Someone posted on Twitter that no matter how you throw them, they'll always land right side up. The Vans Challenge posits that apparently when you throw a pair of Vans into the air, it'll often land upright. Even if they land on their side, they'll flip right back on up. Even our team over in New York have uh, taken a stab at it. What's up guys, we're in the New York office and today we're gonna be testing to see if Vans always land right side up. And we've got a pretty long stairwell here. We've got a dirty old van. Shoe number one, here we go. Eric, watch out. Shoe number two coming down. A little flip action. I'm risking my life. Oh my god, oh almost way. the same spot. It landed. But to see how accurate this challenge actually is, we conducted an experiment here on site. And we'll just cut to that footage right now. Hi, I'm Ivan, and we're out here ready to flip our vans three times, and we're gonna see how often they land upright. Go, Megan. Go. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 okay. All right, we're trying it a second time. We're getting a little flashy this time. Uh, 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 oh man! All right, we're gonna try it one more time, seating down, and we're gonna drop them with the soles up. Oh! 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 Almost. Oh, Only two okay. didn't work. All right, so it seems like most of the time it landed. Sometimes it didn't, but I feel like it's just about the way you threw the shoe. The science in the soles, the weight distribution makes the science make them land flat, and that's why. I think it lands upright because this is just, it's so heavy. The bottom is super heavy that it always just wants to fall on that. Also, it's a skate shoe, you know? When you're shredding the gnar, you want to be able to land on your feet. Skate for life. But of course, they're not actual scientists, so I reached out to a real physicist to get his thoughts on what could possibly be the scientific explanation for this mini phenomenon taking place. First of all, I've read a number of comments that people say the reason it happens is because the soles of the shoes are really heavy and the tops are really light. But in reality, that's not the case. So I have a little prop here, I have a little hammer. And we're all used to the idea that if you grab it by the end of the handle, it will just fall down like this. And so you might think that therefore it will try to fly around like this as well. That's actually not the case because when it's flying, it's not being held by its end. In reality, things tend to uh, rotate about what we call the center of mass where they are completely free to orient themselves any which way. And the result is that when the thing is flying around, it's tumbling completely uniformly and it's just as likely to hit the floor with a heavy part up as with a light part up. When I looked at the videos, what I noticed is that people record the shoes not the moment they hit the floor, but after they hit the floor and then they roll around on the floor, and then people look at how they ended up. My suspicion is that what's going on is there is a preference for them to land uh, with the laces up because of the way they roll on the floor, not because of the way they fly around in the air. And there can be a couple of reasons. First of all, when they roll around on the floor, the soles are rubbery and they have more friction. And so as the shoe tumbles around on the floor, it's just more likely to catch on the rubbery, sticky shoe than on the more slippery top. And that will make it more likely to stop. The other part is when the shoe rolls around and finds itself standing on edge, then it has a chance of falling to the right or to the left. And as we all know, things will tend to topple over towards the heavy part. But again, it's not of the way it's flying around in the air, it's from the way that it rolls around on the floor. So the friction of the rubbery sole and the propensity of something to fall down into the heavier direction when it's standing on edge 
i think what might be behind this observation if it really is something that happens that tends to happen so there you have it it's not a hundred percent a guarantee that the shoe will always land upright when you throw it but it's a fun little challenge and if you have an enclosed space in which you can chuck your vans in the air please feel free to do so and let us know down in the comments how uh, how that turned out for you until then i'm gonna finish this greek yogurt Oh, I'm done. Thank God. Ooh, that's not fun. 15 grams of protein, though.